Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Paisley here. Next demonstration is on the next step of uh, linoleum carving. And thanks to my students, they are videotaping. For, they are my eighth graders. So seventh grade, we already talked about the Japanese and the German expressionist prints. And so now you're thinking about what do you want to make your artwork about. Remember the themes that they worked on. They worked on portraits, they worked on buildings, they worked on everyday life nature, theater, war, there was a whole lot of themes that we worked with. But so your first task is to come up with some ideas, okay? So you're brainstorming about what would you like to make a print of. So this is my dog next to a crib because I'm trying to, you guys all know, I, I'm expecting a baby in the spring so it's my everyday life, okay? Computers, research, I'm in grad school, you guys know that as well, so that's everyday life. Then there's my dog, okay? And then there's my house, okay? The house one would be very difficult to print because it's all lines. We're also working on shape and texture. So this one, okay, the ear is a shape. The shadow on his chest is a shape. Some of these white spots are shapes. We really need to think about a balance of dark and light. And also, there's different textures in the grass. So this one might be a, in contention for what I would choose. This one has some shapes, but it's a lot of lines. So that one would be really difficult. Um, this one ha would have more shapes. But I ended up, you're going to draw it on the size of, this is, this is my linoleum. It's going to fit exactly onto my linoleum, so my paper is the same size. So this piece of paper is me with a baby. But I also have evidence, like there's the computer, there's some books to show that I'm doing research. Back here, you can see the desk that we always work at at school because I'm still a teacher. That's part of my, my everyday life. So this is about my everyday life that, yes, everything is still going on around me, but I'm also really excited to be a mom soon. So first step is um, you draw it how you want it. Next, you have to really go over all of the lines really darkly. Okay. This is so it transfers really well onto your linoleum. Okay, I'm pressing pretty hard. Okay, so you go over all of your lines really darkly. Okay, I've shaded it in how, like where I want the dark shapes. Okay, I've got different textures here, I've got different textures in here dark shapes in the background, okay, drawing really darkly on all of this. Okay, so after you trace over all of your lines, okay, this is when you're going to transfer, okay? This is the way I want it to print, okay? And so in order to make it backwards, because we have to print how it's backwards, okay? To show an example, this was one that I did, okay? I drew it a different way. I drew it this way, but I had to carve it backwards so it would print this way. So when you carve it, it's gonna be backwards. When you print it, okay, it will be back to the right way. Okay, so if, you're, if there are any words in your pictures, that you will carve them backwards. I've made that mistake many times in my Christmas cards. Okay, so back to this one. Okay, you're going to put it face down on your linoleum. You do not want to move it after you've done this. And you're going to rub with the backs of scissors, the handles. Okay, I'm trying to keep the paper from moving. Okay, I'm trying to get middle on the sides. I'm holding the paper down pretty hard. Right. And this is how it turns out at first. Okay, we can kind of see the image enough that we can go back in with a pencil and say, okay, so I, I'm gonna go around the baby. 
I'm not pressing down really hard because I don't want to gouge the linoleum. Okay. And so this is the next step in the process and we're going to be carving next week. And I think I'm gonna have some students show, the, show you the carving demo as I'm talking. And so next week when I come back, you're going, I'm gonna do another demonstration like this. And we're going to be working with, this is just a scrap piece of linoleum, but we're gonna be working with the tools. Okay, there's different blades. We have to do a lot of um, carving. Um, have to do different blades. They're sharp. We have to do a lot of safety demo as well. And so we're going to be carving in the next demonstration using a bench hook, using the different blades and carving. But that will be next week. And so while I'm gone, have fun coming up with really inventive ideas about your everyday life. Uh, with theater, nature, you can look up images. You have to come up with at least four ideas, okay? Four ideas of what you would like to do, okay? Because that shows fluency. You're coming up with multiple ideas, okay? Multiple solutions, because in art there are multiple solutions. There's no one right answer, okay? So keep thinking about the, the themes and what do you want to express with your art? And start, and you'll ha you can get your own piece of paper and draw your own image and transfer it, okay? Thanks.